Welcome back everybody. Now we're going to do day two of our fall leaf project and today we're going to talk about color families. So just like you all have families, colors have families as well. And today we're going to use the warm colors. These are the colors you're seeing in fall. Our leaves are changing into red, orange, and yellows, right? And that's called our warm family. The reason we call them the warm colors is because they remind us of things that are warm, right? So yellow reminds us of what? The sun. Orange reminds us of fire, the flames. And red reminds us of lava. So we think of things that are hot okay, when we see those warm colors. Today I'm going to use watercolor paints. So you'll need a cup of water, a brush, and your watercolor set. Okay. If you don't have these and you don't want to paint, you could just color your leaves in with warm colors using crayons or markers, whatever you have at home. Okay. So I'm going to show you watercolor techniques today. So I'm going to get that red wet with some water and I'm just going to start to paint my leaves okay, using one of my warm colors. Now if that paint is really, really wet, I can clean my brush after every color, dip it into the yellow now, twirl my brush around, get that yellow nice and wet, and now when I overlap these colors, they're going to start to mix to create a new color. Can anyone see what that color is? Red, yellow, creates this orange color. Okay. Now let's see. I'm going to go back. I'm going to add some red over here, a little bit of red. And this leaf is in the middle of changing, so I clean my brush again, and now I want to use some orange. Make sure you always are cleaning your brush in between each color. Okay. That way your paints will stay nice and clean. You can add layers to make it darker. Okay, so watercolor is pretty neat. If you don't want your color to be as bright, you want a really light orange, then mix it with more water. If you want your color to be very bright and vibrant, then use less. Okay, so you can kind of change the value of that color by adding more water or less water. So I have one leaf done in my warm colors, and I'm going to continue to paint all of these leaves using my warm color family. Okay. And then after you're done with all of your leaves, play the next video because we're going to focus on our cool color family.